Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we I got a one problem statement that is something recently I caught up which one of the users just posted on the comment section and I just tried to solve it. So what exactly he said that? So uh, he is connecting a data in a live source so that uh, uh, and he wants to switch the uh, x axis the field required field using parameters actually. Mm -hmm. So uh, the way he connected his data, it was not able to uh, change the field using parameter. So he don't have that option of using the parameter. Now the things comes like, uh, uh, let's say if uh, we do not have the parameter option, then what we supposed to do if we want to switch uh, your fields in X axis. So there are a couple of options. The first option will be like just to unpivot a table and then use it. But I'm not going in that particular direction as of now. I'm trying to do and solve this problem by using the help of tags. So what exactly we have here as an input data and let me see. Uh, so for this particular set, I have just created a dummy data set where we have a ID, unique ID, uh, product name, region, department, and the sales. So for this particular execution using the tags, we need a unique ID. Without that, it would be difficult to solve this problem. So that is the first constraint that using this approach uh, when we are doing this thing. Then let's see how we can create this kind of a chart exactly same using the DAX. So uh, I'm just using this data set. If I go here, I've just created a canvas here. Uh, now what we need. So the first approach will be like, uh, as I said earlier, that we can unpivot this thing and then switch. So and when I'm going to unpivot using the ID, product name, region, and sales. So in a given one column, I will be having product name and region. And then I can use as a filter and apply that thing. So how we can achieve this in using the DAX, let's get started for this. For this, I have to go to this. And uh, actually, I have to create a new table. So for this new table, let me rename as my uh switch table what are we things we require so first we will create a variable where we will create a, a product table for a given product an id how much is your sales so this is what we have and i have to do something called select columns in this first argument will be your table. So I have this table name I have used. Then which additional column you need. So I need my first ID column here. Okay, my bad. It should be double quotes, not the single quotes. So ID and which field it should be. Switch DAX and it should be ID. So this is the one of my column. Now the next column should be having a value which will be the constant. Let me give us that as column just to segregate things up. And here we need the all the product categories. So uh, we need the product column here. So we have to use the same product, uh, same exactly in same name as we have in our data. So that should be checked product name, which can be altered uh, later part also. And from where we will going to fetch its value. Okay, it will search. Show me an error, my bad. So next thing is like, what are the values of this product name? So uh, let me take as column values. Column values as switch product name so it will have all the product let's say product two one two three four five six and number of product will be carrying this thing then last we need the sales so sales space using dax so this is the one table is being defined here so what it will do it will create a four fields one will be your id the second will be the constant column which has only one name that is the product name then it's given for a given corresponding product name it's different values 
and then for this each id and product name what is my sales value so let me do this i just want to make sure that i have given a right name so this is the one table now we want another table which will be my actually i can just copy paste in which will be my another table corresponding to region let's say we want to flip uh, between region and uh, product name so give up uh, by using slicer so what i can do region table and here i can use the same region and here we have the region and the same thing now we this is the one table this is the second table and if you see their column names are exactly same so we can append this column append this table using union right now what we can do we can do a return statement first then union and both the table names so we need product table first and then we need region table so this is done right let me hit enter so once it's done we have to go to here and check if you see we have the id oh, so we have the id we have the column values region one two three if you see the product name one two three and we have the column value as reason so this will go into the slicer we can easily switch between both these things region and the product name for a given region we will have the corresponding values for a given region and its sales now the second question might come up like why i have just taken the id so one one thing we have to make sure that thing that in our uh, whatever the dashboard we are creating there might be some other slicers or different dependencies why might be there right so we want to continue that thing let's say here i have just taken a department if i am using if i don't use ids how i'm going to connect my parent table with respect to my this the table that i have just created now so that's why we need the region unique identifier so that we can make a connection between both this table so let's do that thing also at the same time how oh, it happened once we have this thing so this is my parent table and if i go here this is my child level and we have to make a connection between both this thing from dax to id id if you see single one to many relationship since because in parent table there will be one unique id but here since we have transposed the data and unperverted the data from into region and uh, product name we have the uh, each id each id will be associated twice so let's do the connection once we done the connection now we are ready to create this thing now what we need first we need the cluster chart here Uh, from this DAX, what we can do, I can just take our sales. Okay. Now we need a slicer. And slicer stage table, we have the column. And I can convert that into single selection since these are the two different fields. It should not be, uh, else the values will not be going to correct. Then what we need? Uh, once. Now, if I come go back to my table, now I can use these column values in the y axis. Sorry, uh, column values. Oh, sorry, my bad. It has to go to x axis, column values, and the sale should come in the y axis. So, if you see for a given product, and I guess it's still it's not working right now, I have done something wrong. Column values, this sales column values uh, then we have this thing correctly mapped there's something the spelling mistake is there i guess using dax sales oh my bad it has to be this value and then we need the column values Yes, so we are good now. 
I have just taken a sorry, my bad. So since we have made a connection between ID and ID, we don't require anything from our parent table for this particular chart. We can use the columns from the table that we have created and the sales value. Now, if I switch here, it works perfectly fine. Let me do one more thing. I just add a data label here and uh, values. I just need bit size. Bold, make it black. It looks good. And then the background, let's give a background. Okay. Now let's have one more slicer just to verify. And we need here department. Okay. So let's say for a given department, one product name, one product one has 0.32 million. Where if I go to the pan, different approach that we have 0.32 million. So it matches. So the work fields values are also correct. So this is the one of the approach that you can take it. Let's say if you have a multiple constraint that you cannot use parameter, uh, which we have here in the new here. And, uh, and if your data is not that huge, it also then this creating this uh, switch table, it's quite easy uh, table. And you can, un if you don't have the unpivot uh, option also, because it will change your whole data. Like not only one field, but unpivoting, it will change your whole data. Like let's say hundreds of columns, then how you will to manage. So it will, it, it for just, you can take it as how you can unpivot a small fraction of columns that also helps in this way. So you, for that, only one constraint is that you need an unique identifier for this to make a connection between both this table. So in that way, if you are creating any chart, let's say, uh, with in the parent table, it will not going to be disturbed or anything will be there. So it will be controlled directly from these particular uh, region or something like this. So hope I'm able to uh, make a con clear on this concept, like how you can uh, use DAX query instead of param parameters. Uh, if you don't have that option when you are connecting your data or some security level has been applied. So you can use the DAX kind of a thing that will definitely help you to switch your axis dynamically, uh, dynamically on X axis. Uh, y axis is something quite easy that you can already, like I have created a video before that. Please do check out here. Uh, thank you so much. Hope you like this video. Follow for more Power BI updates. Thank you.